Hi, everyone. Okay, I want to start off by saying I'm reading this book. It's phenomenal. Winning the War in Your Mind. Um, I'm only three chapters in. It's been changing my life, so I highly recommend it. But as I was taking notes on it, something came up in my brain where I was like, I don't know why. I, just feel, I really strongly feel the need to share this. Um, don't know why. So hear me out. It was talking about lies and what lies we believe and what lies are holding us down. And, you know, as we all know, the best kind of lie has some kind of twisted truth in it, right? Um, and I would say Satan, the serpent, is really good at that because that's kind of his thing. And it was talking about the serpent convincing Eve uh, to eat the fruit. And he says this, For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And I just thought, wow, like that's so fascinating because there is a lot of twisted truth in that. In a way, our eyes were opened after eating that. Our eyes were opened to the lustfulness of the world. Um, and they were closed spiritually. And I know that one of my main prayers that I pray is, God, please open my eyes to what I can't see. Open my eyes to what you want me to see. Um, because Paul writes that there's like, the war is spiritual. It's spiritual warfare. It's not, you know, things we can see. It's not weapons of the world. Uh, it's spiritual warfare. And I was like, wow, that's so fascinating. Um, but what Satan was saying is that our eyes can be opened. And that's what it was. They were opened to desiring more worldly sinful things. I just blew my mind. Um, and he also says, you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. I just thought, wow, like, Okay, number one, ballsy, because we are already made in the image of God, you know, and and what he was saying is you'll be like God, it, and essentially, we started treating ourselves as if we were God. We started being more prideful and having more of a sinful nature and doing things that pleased us rather than things that pleased God. And I just thought, wow, like like just that one passage, that one lie has completely mixed up our relationship with God and how we're supposed to live. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of put a message out there and uh, say, you know what? There's a lot of lies that we believe in our lives. Trust me. <laughs> I didn't think so. Those are writing it down. There's a lot of lies we believe in this life. So hold it up to God's truth and see what changes in your life. Because I promise you it's enough to move mountains. Okay. Good night.